What's up everybody, Danny Lightning back with another video. So, if you like the way my vocals sound, this video is for you. If you say no, don't really care for it, I don't like that particular sound, maybe move on and find a different video. But, we're going to use the free version of the OBS screen recording software and the free video editor called DaVinci Resolve 17. And I'm going to show you how to make your vocals sound like this. It's going to be real fast, real easy. There's not much to it, honestly. So let's go ahead and pull up. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the uh, OBS screen recorder, and we'll show you what to do with your microphone real quick. So I assume you've already got a microphone set up and working. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here where you see your microphone on this little bar. You'll see it moving up and down. Click the little gear. Hit filters. Click on filters. And then you can hit this little plus button. This little plus button right here to add a different filter. And there's a drop down. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick a compressor, which I've already got added. And now what we're going to do is we're, going, we're not going to touch any of these dials except for the very last one. The very last slider that says output gain. What you're going to do is you're going to drag that over to the right until you watch your little microphone bar where you see where my mouse is right here, right? You want that to just be getting into the red occasionally. Uh, there's a little, little thing here that says negative five and then... You want it to be getting around negative five constantly. And if it's okay, if it gets into the red a little bit, but you don't want it to go constantly into the red or puh. You don't want to see that happen. Okay. I intentionally popped the microphone. You don't want it to peg out like that, or it's going to distort really bad, but you want it to be in the negative five range. Okay. On that little bar. So don't touch anything except for output gain and pull that over until that's right in the area where you want it. The next thing is we're going to hit that little plus button again and pull the noise suppressor on, which I've already got. And you got two settings. All right. Put it to RN noise. Good quality. The other one will sound like trash and cause unwanted weird sounds in the background. All right. So that's all you got to do on OBS studio. Now we're going to add a little bit of reverb and a vocal channel effect using the venture resolve 17. Now, on DaVinci Resolve, I've got my clip added, all right? So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to find the vocal channel. I'm going to go ahead and click on the audio channel. Now, there's a drop-down list on the right-hand side. I'm going to use one that's called vocal channel, and I'm going to use one that's called reverb. Now, there's two ways to do this. If you want to add a single clip, if you only want to add the effect to a single clip, you can grab the one down here, and you can pull it onto the clip. Now, if you wanted to do the entire channel for the whole video, which I do, I come over here where it says effects. I hit the plus button. I'm going to go ahead and hit reverb. I'm going to choose my preset. And this is how I set my reverb up, right? This is exactly how my reverb is set. It's designed to make so the vocals aren't dry. Um, you can definitely hear that it's there if I turn it on and off, but it's not really designed to be like echoey or make you sound like you're singing in the shower. It's designed to get rid of the dry vocals and just kind of sweeten the sound up a little bit. I think it sounds awesome like this. So hopefully you guys should be able to see exactly where I have these settings and set your reverb exactly like this. Okay, go ahead and pause it if you need to, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the next setting, which is the vocal channel. So I'm going to come over here again, hit the little plus button, or like I said, you can drag it from the right, but we're going to add vocal channel. I'm going to come down here and find my preset. So I turn the compressor on. I put the gain on plus two, this dial, this dial, and this dial, I do not touch. Now I come over here and I, I move the bass up. I move the mids down and the high, you can leave it centered. You want to kind of adjust those three dials. I right, only these three on the bottom here. Adjust those three until your voice sounds really good. Now there's something over here called the high pass filter. Don't turn that on. All right. That's used for very specific things for getting rid of certain noises, but most people aren't going to have those noises and that's going to really make it sound lower quality if you have to use that. So do not turn that on. Make sure the EQ is turned on. Um, 
I don't mess with any of this stuff up here. Actually, I did. I did turn this one up to 130. I think I think around 110 is where the low frequency settings usually at. I turned that up to 130 just to bring out a little bit of extra bass. Mid frequency I left here. High frequency I left alone. And then the mid gain, low gain, high gain, I adjust those until I like the way my voice sounds. So for me, plus six, minus six, and zero with this particular microphone really makes my voice sound nice. That's it. That's all we do. Not much to it, right? Not much to it at all. So once you adjust these three dials to where your voice really comes in nice, plus add that reverb I just showed you, your vocal should sound very close to this. Remember, everybody's voice is a little different. And if you don't have the same microphone as I do, you know, it may not be exact, but you should be able to get a very nice similar sound out of your vocals doing those simple things. So that pretty much wraps this one up, I guess. Um, yeah, those are the vocal effects that I add and that's about it. Oh, also make sure you use your little bar here. All right, so when I play a clip, I wanna make sure we're hitting around the negative five. I shoot for negative five on my vocal channel. This is channel one, which records my vocals. And then I usually do gaming videos, which channel two is over here. So if the game sounds a little too loud or not loud enough, I can turn that up and down with this slider. So I make sure the vocals hit around the minus five when I play them. I'm not actually gonna hit play. Well, you know what, let's go ahead and hit play. What's up everybody, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So See that? Today we're doing a free to play hanger. See how I pulled the slider up until these hit the negative five, five mark? All right, that's about where you want it. You want it to be just hitting into the red in my opinion. And that gives you the perfect, the perfect sound really. All right, and then this is the master volume right here. Usually I just go ahead and leave that on zero. I don't really have any reason to uh, change that because I get the vocal track where I want it and then I get the uh, second gaming track, the game sound or the desktop audio where I want it and then bam, I'm ready to render the video and my vocals sound awesome. So what I'm gonna do is take the clip that you're listening to right now, I'm gonna put it on the software, add those two vocal effects and then bam, upload it to YouTube so you guys can hear it. So. That's my tutorial on getting really awesome audio out of DaVinci Resolve and OBS Studio. Both free software that work great. All right, catch you guys later. See ya. Thanks for watching. Lightning out. Don't forget to like and subscribe.